In this video, we are discussing job merging pattern example. So here we shall solve one assignment and here we will be writing the Java code. We shall compile it, execute it and we will be getting the output for the better explanation. So what is the assignment here? So in this example, we will provide posts.xml and finds the distinct records as well as random sampling on it using job merging pattern. So this is our assignment here. And here we are going to use only one XML that is a posts.xml and it will find the distinct records as well as another job is that there is a random sampling on it using job merging pattern. So let us go for one the implementation on this of this assignment for the better idea. We are discussing one problem that is a job merging pattern. Here we will be provided with two XML file. One is the posts.xml which will be under slash input slash post and another XML file that is the users.xml which will be under slash input slash user. And from these files we shall be finding the distinct records as well as the random sampling on it using the job merging pattern. And this job merging pattern is also falling under the meta pattern design pattern. So here we'll be explaining our code, we'll be showing the, the XML files, we shall get the idea. We shall explain line by line, we shall show you that how the outputs can be obtained. So at first we are going to show you the respective XML file contents that is the posts.xml and users.xml. So here we are going for the uh, slash input slash post, we are finding that posts.xml is residing there and going for slash input slash user, users.xml is residing there. Let me show you the respective users.xml. It is containing multiple different rows, but I have shown here only two of them for your understanding. Under the users tag, we are having the row tags and row is having multiple different attributes like ID, reputation, creation, data and so on. Multiple attributes are there for the each and every row tag. Now let me explore this post.xml under the posts tag we are having the row tags are there containing multiple attributes like id, post type id, accepted answer id and so on. So here we are going to discuss now the java file. The java file we have written onto the eclipse editor we shall show you that how to write the java files we shall explain line by line. We here we will be having only a single class that is a single java file containing multiple inner classes as usual. So here the class name is our job merging MR task. Within the job merging MR task, we are defining multiple public static final string variables. There is a multiple output random, multiple outputs, our outputs distinct. They have got initialized with random and distinct string respectively. They are final, so that is constant. Here we are having one inner class. Before going for the inner class, so as I've shown you that here are the respective final string we initialize with this random and distinct. So here we're having one inner class that is a random distinct, that is a random dist mapper. So this is the extending the mapper class. Within that we're having only one pub, uh, private static final text that is a distinct out far value which will be initialized with the text constructor. Other than this, we are having the random object. We have defined one random object is equal to new random. We are having one that is a tag text that is a random output out key and also the distinct output key. You can find this one and they have got initialized with the respective tag text constructor. Also, we are having another one that is a text type that is a random output value. We are having this random output value. See, we have just marking that one random output value and that has been initialized with this text constructor. So we are having this set of uh, uh, private variables. Now we are going to override the map method. Within this map method we are defining, we are calling two functions. One is a randomized map and the one is a distinct map. What are they? So there the bodies were written just below it. So at first we are going to discuss the randomized map. Within this randomized map, within the try catch block, we are passing this key value and context to this randomized map method and here we are having the try catch block where define one xml parsed which will be instantiated by the method output that is the xml to map 
which will take one XML file as input and returns one hash map file as output. Here is the respective method body. You can find that from the line number 179. So now if the XML parts dot size is greater than zero, that means if it is not null, we are defining one string builder class object that is a string builder and this string builder is getting appended with this row that is a that is a row that is a greater than row that means you know that in our in our xml files we had the row tag so we just add this row tag to the start of the xml so that's why i'm just going to show you the xml file content so that you can feel yes we had the row tags there so similarly here also we are writing obviously the closing tag also will be giving in our code so there is a row tag we are having now for entry string string entry for xml dot entry set so here the key value pairs are string and string we're reading this one from xml parts dot entry set so if the entry dot get key dot equals is user id or only id then ignore it that means ignore these fields we're not going to consider them otherwise if it is a creation date then we are strip out the time anything after the capital t in the value why we are writing this one as capital T in the value? See here, in the creation date, we are having say 2010-09-13, then capital T is there. Then the time part is there. This capital T is actually working as a delimiter between the date and the time. So we shall take from the very first index, that is 0 to index of capital T. That means index of capital C T. So that's why I have written this one as string builder dot append entry dot get key plus this is the symbol and then entry dot get key dot substring zero comma entry dot get value dot index of capital T and then slash uh, slash uh, backslash there. Otherwise else we are just writing the everything there. So only for this uh, this creation date we are considering that one and then appending the closing that is a angular bracket that is the end of the tag. Random output key will be set as A. Random output key will be set as A and then random output key dot set text will be integer dot string converting the, this random integer to string so that will be the set text random value dot set that is the string builder dot to string so it will be converting to the to string and that will be set as a random output random out value so we are writing this one there's a key value pair we're writing temporarily onto the context the context dot write random out key and random out value we have enclosed them in the proper try catch block. Now we are going to discuss one method that is a distinct map because we are supposed to get the distinct records. So here we have defined one XML parsed which has been initialized with this XML2 key, XML2 map uh, method output. So from the XML parts we are getting this owner user ID and that will be in it, that will be kept in user ID of the type of string. If the user ID is equal to is equal to null then return need not to execute the rest part of the code. And here the distinct output key dot set tag D, D here stands for the distinct and then set output key is dot set text user ID. So whatever the user ID we are having that one we are writing that one and then on the context right we are going for this distinct output key and distinct out value. So we are going to discuss the reducer class that is a ran the random dis distinct reducer. So here we are defining one multiple outputs object malop. And in the setup method, we are just initializing, keeping this uh, uh, malop initialized with this text and null writable context. And then we are going for this overriding the reduce method. So key dot get text value comma context. If a, if the tag is a, otherwise we'll be going for get text value context otherwise. So now we are going for this random reduce. So the random reduce method and the random reduce. Uh, random distinct uh, distinct reduce so two methods are there discussing the random reduce at first so multiple output dot write multiple output dot write you can find is having the respective value there is a multiple output random comma value comma null writable dot get multiple output random plus concatenating slash part that is the random reduce in case of distinct reduce we are writing the same we're writing the same but here it is the multiple output distinct instead of writing multiple output random we are writing multiple outputs distinct the key whatever has been passed as parameter that has been put there 
we're writing this cleanup cleanup is doing nothing it is just closing that one now we are going for the tag text in the tag text we're having one constructor parameter as constructor non parameter as constructor is void we're having the parameter as constructor set tag that is our get tag so non parameter as constructor is void and in the parameter as constructor we're writing set tag that is a text dot get tag and set tag set text that is a text dot text dot get text so in this way the tag and the text will be set here now we are having multiple setter and getter methods multiple setter and getter methods so that we have written afterwards this is a setter and getter getter as as usual we have written these are the setter and getter methods i'm just marking them so that you can understand here we are written only the setter and getter now we are going for these read files so read files we are overriding this one tag is equal to in dot read utf and text dot read fields in so in we have passed that that was as a data input that is a in we are passing and that has been kept here for the right will be doing the same but here we are writing this tag here we are writing this tag and then text dot write out so in this way the respective the right method we have written now also we are overwriting this compare to so int compare is equal to tag dot compare to obj dot get tag if the compare is equal to zero that means if the comparing uh, comparison is right that means the comparison is zero that means we will be going for text dot compare to object dot get text so that will be that will be returned and otherwise it will return the compare that is the other non zero value so here we are overriding the two string method because if i want to print something so it will be printed as there is a tag dot two string colon text dot two string so tag will be converted to text then one colon will be appended here yeah, there is a concatenated and text dot two string so in this way we have written multiple different overridden methods now let us discuss the main function within the main function we require the the respective task name then post input folder and the output folder so two command line arguments we required to pass here we are just defining one job instance the name of the job is job merging we are setting the mapper class we are setting the mapper class we are setting the reducer class and here we are taking the three reusers three reducers so set num reduce task 3 we are defining the input uh, set input paths and set output paths from argument 0 and argument 1 add the named output and add named output so we are having two output folders so that is a multiple output random and we will be having multiple outputs distinct so two output folders we are defining and there will be text output format dot class and the key value pair will be text dot class and null or writable class so in this way we are going to create two output folders you can find that we will be creating the two output folders in our example in the outcome so here we are writing the respective key value pairs the respective classes now going for job dot set output key class tag text dot class and set output value class text dot class so everything we have done now we are going for the check of the completion if the completion is true we will be returning zero otherwise it will come out uh, it will return uh, it will exit with us two we will be creating the jar file as we did the create on the on the respective project name right button click export and create the jar files we have shown that one in the earlier projects also so now we shall we have created the jar file already so let me go for the terminal let me show you that what are the command we are supposed to execute so i have written the command earlier so that will be hadoop then jar and then map reduce folder with the map reduce the jar file folder and the path then the package name that is a class name that is the input post and that is the output input folder and the output folder so if we execute this one you can find that if i execute this one it will go on creating the respective output folders and all so here we will be we had provided the post.xml and users.xml and we had to find the distinct records as well as the random sampling on it using the job merging pattern so that was the aim of this demonstration so it is about to complete let me check the output folder also we'll be getting the respective outputs yes the command has got executed properly going for the output folder
now we shall go for the output folder now see under the output folder we are having distinct and random and part files are having the zero bytes so distinct and random two folders are there in the distinct we are having uh, some part files three part files are there and in the random also we are having three part files and sizes their sizes are non zero so let me go on printing them coming back to the console again and we shall go for printing issuing the command minus cat slash output we shall go for part star so for the distinct we are having this you can find that all these all these values are distinct you can get it done now let me go for the random I think we have, we have uh, seen the code we have seen how did we execute how we are showing the part files and this is the present content here I hope you have got the got the idea you can pause the video type the code also you'll be getting the same output as we have got here these are the respective output we are getting in case of random long output this one and divide it into multiple part files I hope you've got the idea that how uh, could I could I execute all this code and how these outputs are getting you can see that we are having the respective row the opening angular bracket and the closing angular bracket everything we gave uh, uh, accordingly and the IDs are not getting included you can see and also in the creation date you can find only the date part is there because after capital T we have discarded the time part so only the creation date is there and the respective other uh, other tags are already there and this is the output of this random I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching